your girl Sonia Simone. Welcome back to my channel. Let me first apologize for taking so long to put out another video, guys. It's been a rough couple of weeks for me after surgery. Um, hasn't been real easy getting up out of bed and um, moving around and eating and heartburns and chest pain and vomiting so it's been kind of rough but before i go on please definitely like subscribe share turn on your post notification and definitely tell some friends tell them to come on over where they'll get different content okay so as you all know i did my surgery february 8th the gastric sleeve and everything went well um, came home and uh, you know I was in pain from the incisions because of laying down or staying in one place for too long so whenever you get up you tend to feel pain um, and it lasted maybe for I want to say a week and a half as far as the pain getting up out of bed out of the chair you know walking around sometimes I had to hold my stomach so it was of course natural I just had surgery um, doctor said I couldn't do anything for six weeks no heavy lifting no bending no nothing to that effect so you know my family came through as far as helping me now before I went in for the surgery I made sure I bought the products that I needed um, to have on hand when I came home from the hospital. So I have bought like my protein, milk, um, my jello, the broth, um, and any other little knick snacks that I needed after the surgery. Also big shout out to my sisters, my parents, my son. They really came through for me after the surgery. They were there for me every step of the way and I really, really appreciate that. Um, for the food wise, I was drinking the milk, the broth and the jello for a while. And then I think after the fourth week or the fifth week, the fourth week, the doctor added to the list, um, yogurt, cottage cheese and ricotta cheese. I don't eat any of the three. So that was a bit difficult. I only use yogurt when I'm making smoothies or any yogurt that I've had would be Activia. That's the only thing I've liked. Now I've, I've I'm now able um, for the yogurt. Now I'm taking Shabani. Do not like the texture or the taste, but of course I have to tolerate it. The ricotta cheese I cannot do or the cottage cheese. Um, and as time goes on or the weeks pass, there's more items or more food added to the list where it's going to um, bake fish, chicken. Um, sometimes I'm able to tolerate the fish. Sometimes it goes down smoothly. Then sometimes it comes back up. Um, same thing for the chicken. Um, I try not to add too much things at one time because it's still a process and it's still hard. Um, during this time, I've had some serious, serious, serious heartburns. And as I'm speaking to you, I'm having it now. And keep in mind, I have not had any. So, um, I've had some really, really serious heartburns. Um, and like, for example, I'm having one right now. I haven't had anything to eat as yet, and it's now 12 o'clock, you know, and um, it's just rough. The hardest thing for me with this surgery is the heartburn or vomiting. Um, it's, it's not a good feeling. The heartburns are severe. 
I mean, they give, give you medication for it, but I just feel like the medication isn't doing anything. Um, there's a medication that I have to take before eating and I have to wait two hours before I eat. And I'm like, okay, so that's supposed to go do like a coating of the, the lining of the stomach. And even after I do it, wait two hours and then eat, still have the heartburn. But there are some days where there's no heartburn at all. And then there's days it's like I have to hold my chest or I'm tapping on my chest, you know. So it's not fun at all, you know. And a lot of people don't tell you about that. Um, there's a lot of medications that you have to take. And I've never been want to take medication unless it was prescribed by a doctor. And this is the first that I've been taking so much medication at one time, even just for one day. So I'm taking iron, I'm taking calcium, I'm taking multivitamins, I'm taking biotin, I'm taking the one for the the chest, chest pain, I'm taking one for sleeping, and there's another one that I have to take from you. Saying all that, seven different pills that I have to take. Um, two of them are two large pills, the calcium and the multivitamin. That's the hardest pill, I think, for me to take. And it's not that it's hard for me to swallow. It's the fact that the pills are so big. My stomach is so small. And by the time I'm supposed to eat, take that medication, I just feel like... You know it's not going to be dissolving properly or dissolving the way it should um that's far as it as the medication um there are days where i can move up and down and i do what i have to do and i'm okay and there's days where i just want to stay in bed all day and sleep because i feel like if i sleep i don't feel the pain or i'll wake up feeling better where I don't feel the chest pain anymore. Now, as far as eating, my eating has changed drastically because I'm not eating like I'm supposed to. I really feel like I'm not eating enough because there are times where I'll just have a milk for the day and that's it for me. And that's not good, you know. Um, the time is now 12 o'clock. I haven't had anything to eat all morning. And am I feeling hungry? No. You know, so it's like I have to get myself on a schedule where I know, okay, Sonny, you get up, have something, have an egg. You know, maybe around lunchtime, have a um, the cold cuts. I can have cold cuts, you know, and then make sure I have something prepared for dinner. Maybe piece of um salmon or something to that effect but um and drinking water my water intake is not as it used to be um i'm having a bit of a hard time drinking water because if i eat and then drink water i'm not eating the amount of food that i prepared because i'm drinking water as well and if i eat the amount of food and still drink water then I'm overfulling myself and then I want to go to the bathroom again to throw up. So it's like, damn if you do, damn if you don't. Um, so I have to learn how to manage my water intake. So if I'm going to drink water right now, I can't eat anything. And I would have to wait a while before I can eat again. So that's how I have to be doing the water intake. So... It's very challenging and you really have to work your way around it or work or do what's best for you. Um, also, my sleeping habits. My sleeping habits haven't been good for a while, but it's worse now. I can sleep two, three hours in the day and if I sleep in the day, it's hard for me to go to bed at night. And when I do go to bed at night, I'm sleeping still for two, three hours. So it's like I'm not getting enough rest, you know. Um, so it's a lot of work that I have to do, a lot of adjustment and a lot of fixing. 
um so far it sounds like i'm telling you a lot of negative things about the surgery the surgery does have its benefits because i i am losing the weight you know um i've never dreamed that i would be this weight in such a short time like i said when i start before i did the surgery i was 297 as of now i'm 260 so i am losing the weight at first i wasn't feeling like i was losing the weight but i could see it in my clothing now i'm seeing it and now i'm seeing the skin change as far as you know it's getting loose um the texture of my skin you know the feeling um that's why they say it's very important to take the biotin medication which is good for hair nails and skin um a lot of people complain that as far as the hair they lose their hair because of the surgery you know because your body's not getting the proteins and the vitamins you know fiber and so forth that the body needs so you're losing your hair i don't know if i'm losing my hair because i'm always in a protective style um i did a big chop april of last year so my hair is growing back and i don't want to be losing it again so i make sure i take the biotin um one thing i do notice the texture of my skin has changed i used to have soft smooth skin like my skin is greased and even when you rub it it makes that sandpaper sound never used to you know or it could be that my hand has gotten rough let's see it's still making the same sound so i have to be working on that so i try to moisturize my skin as much as possible um since losing weight i see um my complexion is coming back you know over the years i've realized that i've had like four five six different tones of color in my face and now my complexion is actually coming back together you know i don't know if you guys notice like when you put on weight you tend to get dark spot in your face especially the side and mine's have been lightening up as you see this used to be so dark now it's lightening up if i can find a picture from prior i'm gonna insert it but it's light lightening up i can see my neck um according to my mother my head is getting bigger <laughs> so i've always had a big head but you know she says getting bigger i can see my neck you know my shoulders you know i'm looking good i must say i'm feeling myself um it gave me a boost of confidence since i've lost the weight you know i've always felt good when i'm going out or i'm dressing up and now it's like i'm not going anywhere and my hair is in a messy bun didn't do nothing special or extra and and i'm liking how i'm looking you know and just to see that I've been on the scale and the pounds are going, I'm really happy and excited. Um, it's been a long time coming and I'm getting the Sunny Simone that I've missed and love. And I mean, I've always loved myself and always follow myself, but you know, I just feel good to get that extra oomph, you know, go out there and do my thing. Um, but it's going to take some time and I have to work at it. So what I'm going to do is keep posting, keep informing you guys. And if you guys have any questions that you want to ask, please feel free to ask. Um, hopefully I'll have other contents showing you the food that I make to eat on a daily basis, my exercising, um, me putting the video the bike together and just going along with this journey with me um i do have some arts and craft project coming up um and we're gonna take it from there so guys i just want to say thank you thank you thank you for sticking in it with me 
thanks for coming back thanks for watching thanks for liking and for the new subscribers thank you please like share subscribe and turn on your post notification have a good one and stay safe out there